What is up? I'm Wanda Turtle, and today we're doing a mail day video. Um, been planning on doing this for a while, but I feel like I've just been picking up a lot of singles recently. So I was like, oh, let me wait until everything comes in, but it's kind of been a nonstop stream. So I'll just do it with what we have right now. Actually, it's probably like half, and I'll cut it into multiple videos. Uh, but I've been mentioning this a bunch of times lately that, you know, I feel like right now is a great time to kind of transition from uh, spending more money on seal product to singles. Uh, I just feel like right now the prices are very good. Um, none of this stuff is very expensive. I think uh, very few things cost more than $50. Uh, and this has just been filling out my collection with just stuff that has been missing and just some identifying some some goals that I'm starting working towards and one of them being like all right you know I do think that there is promise to CGC uh, so my collection being primary PSA right now uh, with kind of where PSA is at with grading right now how long it takes uh, and I doubt that'll change any time soon that I think CGC will become the kind of like uh, you know, PSA will be the standard, but then there's CGC as the uh, better alternative time-wise, not necessarily like value for like the same same card or the same grade, um, but you know, I think it'll become more prominent down the line. So we do have some PSA cards, and judging by how well these are sleeved, I believe these are from TCA, one of his um, consignments. And uh, so one thing I always, you know, I'll put down a low bid, and it's like you know, if I win. Um, sweet if not no worries is any full art supporter um, doesn't need to be PSA 10 I'm perfectly fine with mint 9 uh, and I'm pretty sure most of these cards were like less than $20 so for to get a graded peers you know not a great card but um, you know it would cost me more to if I just wanted a graded copy to get a graded even you know like I'm pretty sure I picked this up less than $15 um, you know, energy, <laughs> never high on my to-do list, but hey, first edition energy uh, from base sets. And again, I think this, I, I think of these, I just put across the board, $20 for all the energies and one PSA 8-1 got through. So perfect. Uh, and there's ever a promo, which I'm not even sure I have this in my collection yet. So we'll just pick up, you know, near mint seven, perfectly fine with that. Again, I think all of these were like 20 bucks, maybe probably lower. Uh, Professor Elm, best of game. Don't know too much about best of game. I know TCA talks about him a lot. And all right, we'll start adding more to our collection. PSA 8, no worries there. All right, let's start talking about some of the CGC stuff. Uh, so this was either picked up through eBay or if the grades are pretty particular, I've been picking a bunch of stuff on whatnot where it's like I don't know, less than $10. Like, okay, um, the grade's pretty low, but I'm fine with that. I'm actually just fine building out my CGC collection right now. And oh, actually we're starting off with a pretty good one. Um, so I don't remember the exact price, but you know, it's getting, the prices are so low. I, I feel like all right, maybe people are just sending a bunch of cards off to CGC and getting them back and just trying to get what money they can out of them. And it's like, I'm, I'm pretty sure that if I were to just go to TCG player, pick up a random near mint copy and send it to CGC, um, the cost of that, forgetting time the cost of that is uh greater than what i paid for these so it's like to me it's a no-brainer uh obviously these cards are great uh i think you know they're just in the shadow of the metal cards um so those are kind of not slept on but undervalued and able to pick it up at a great price here's just another full art supporter this one from chilling rain it's like you know the mint nine so i feel like cgc potentially you know a nine uh could you know maybe lines up with a psa nine and then 9.5 but is like potential 10 and then you know cgc 10 is probably you know guaranteed very strong psa 10 that's my perception uh not really based on anything any real evidence i looked at um any promos from 1999 i'm happy to pick up at again like i feel like most of these were at slightly above the cost of grading <laughs> so heck yeah let's start building out the ccc collection uh rainbow rare not not a gem mint but you know the centering is fine and, and you know i feel like this era these kind of off center thing was like rampant so uh pick this up at a great price sure thing uh this is another best of i actually think this one pops the most just this reverse hollow pattern uh so then actually i picked up a bunch of these 
Uh, here we have, so kind of like anything modern, it just comes down to, you know, alt art is king. Um, and alt art 9.5s, even 9s are pretty high right now. But then these 8.5s, which are kind of like duds, I find that they're going for very good prices. So, you know, any of these uh, nine gem mints are kind of like out of my range, but I'm happy to just have them in the collection in a graded fashion. Uh, this is, this Charizard actually like... Um, so these cards are so cheap right now. Um, I think this card is going through similar to kind of like Champion's Path ETB Charizard, uh, where there's just like so many copies. It's like dirt cheap, even for like PSA 10. I think they're like going for like $40. Uh, I think these I picked up for like 20, which, you know, it's mint. And, and, you know, these Japanese promos, like getting gem mint 9.5 or PSA 10 is not that difficult. But at the same time, and I'm, I have some at PSA, which, you know, I bet some of them will get 10s. Uh, but, you know, I wonder if this is a window opportunity just to pick up a graded Charizard. This one is, you know, it's a Japanese promo. And I think it's like some kind of illustrator thing, too. Oh, no, it just says Pokemon Center pack purchase. But, um, you know, a unique art. Um, right now, it's really cheap. I could see down the line, you know, them being more sought after so just to take take that chance for twenty dollars i think it's well worth it uh here's another turnator this one is from hidden fates uh hidden fates by far my favorite modern set and you know i have these goals of getting all right a psa 10 set and then a psa 9 by the way both are actually P both are surprisingly cheap like psa 9 probably so cheap obviously the charizard will be a little bit more but beyond that all the other ones I think they're just starting to really come back from PSA from all those, uh, you know, $10, $15 grading fee orders. Uh, and so the prices are just so low. Actually, this is a nice card, Expedition. Um, again, I, I don't know, I, I want to say $20. Like, a CGC 6, oh my gosh, you can see this card is pretty beat up. But, you know, just to send, if I had a, bought this raw, I mean, you know, probably doesn't cost that much, but then to get it graded, uh, now I have starting to i have a small like start in the expedition side and again like my process for completing sets um it's like just complete the set first and then worry about the grade and uh so you know and if i don't complete it no worries same exact thing here again i think i paid less than the cost of grading uh this one even had subgrades uh shining fates similar situation of hidden fates but shining fates is much lower on my uh kind of like how how I appreciate the set um, but again same idea so cheap uh, these are all almost all of them are from whatnot um, and you have a whatnot a lot but uh, so Japanese really old cards um, so I think what, what, I don't even know what this is called like it, it was like the greenback or blueback I think greenback is less expensive and then some of them are missing like the number uh, so we have a bioplume and so as far as like these kind of sets uh, I did complete the card ass set of uh, the 151 but it ended up getting them all graded uh, so I'm starting to build out these uh, the green slash blue back cards and rebuilding the card ass set uh, here we have a Sharon's care again <laughs> whatnot sometimes um, some of these trees you just pick up like it's like oh yeah rainbow rare supporter for five dollars sure <laughs> Here we have an Eevee, very nice greenback. Uh, I'm pretty sure the condition of most of these, like if I were to get them graded, you know, probably like less than seven. Um, so, but this is, you know, eventually I'll build out a binder collection of this. All right, so this one actually it was pretty expensive and I don't know what happened. I think for a while these things were going for, I don't know, like a thousand and then PSA 10 was like a couple grand. Uh, that must have been a influx of supply because, you know, this thing still wasn't cheap. I, I want to say it's like maybe like 200 to get shipped from, from the UK. Uh, but, you know, it felt like, all right, there was a sur uh, surge of supply. So I'll pick it up while they're in potentially temporary price drop. I am actually haven't been following it uh, too closely to see if that changed. All right. So these I picked up on whatnot. I believe this was like the stream was like, all right, these are binder collection cards. They're all mod play or more, which, you know, eventually I'll build add these to binders actually a bunch of these non hollows i think there's kind of like a lot so a lot of these are nothing special but um actually like these non hollows again i think i picked them all up for like five bucks or something crazy like that and eventually we'll get to some nice 
um, hollow stuff. We got some base sets, some Neo era. Okay, here we have actually some noteworthy cards. Again, Polyrath, you can see it's clearly super beat up. I don't know if it were to be graded, probably like a one through three, maybe four, but for a binder, absolutely. Shadowless stuff all day. Uh, anything vintage, Kingdra EX. This one actually looks good. Uh, I'm pretty sure when I looked at it, like on the back, it was like bent or something, uh, but a very nice binder copy. All right, let's see, what else am I been picking up? I'm guessing these are more, yes, the futsal cards. Uh, so I think, I'm not sure where they're at now, but for the longest time, you could pick these up for like $20 a pop, shipped from the UK, uh, super unique. I kind of doubt they'll get English printings, although anything is possible. And, um, you know, I could see these, I categorize these cards as a weak, but similar to how I viewed the screen promos when I was picking those up nonstop from Japan, uh, shipped to the US for $15. And, uh, you know, now like PSA 10, they're going for even like the cheaper ones going for at least a couple hundred. Um, and whatnot, a lot of times they sell these playing cards, which whatever, probably picked it up for a dollar. Uh, here we have some of those card ass cards. Um, and usually when I just target the cheap ones, obviously I'll get a bunch of the same. So here we have two gold bats, uh, Venom Zubat, but so, you know, we know the ones that will cost more, you know, the evolutions, the, the, the starters and Mewtwo and stuff like that. Uh, so we'll have to bite the bullet at some point. Here is a Scyther. So yeah, there's a lot of these um, kind of like old Japanese set. This one's the Monsters collection, Ooh, but we do have the Dragonite already. So good start there. This one's another, so is this still Cardass? This is Bandai. Um, so I'm not sure what to call this. I'll just call it the Monsters Collection, um, Japanese. And oh, we even do have some blue backs. Ghastly and Haunter. And then Cubone, Marowak, and then Electrode, Voltorb Electrode. So, you know, it'll take some time and I'm pretty sure I'm just kept getting the low hanging fruit, but you know, it's fun to do and whatnot. Still a sticky out. All right, this is a, the new Korra Korra promo. So Pikachu VMAX, plenty of printings of him. Uh, I don't, I am not sure if this is planned for English print and on the off chance that it doesn't get an English print, which wouldn't surprise me either way. Uh, maybe this is a good pickup, but I think, you know, these at the time I picked them up, which probably still the same, you could get them shipped from Japan to the US for $7 a pop. So I feel like it's super low risk. If it gets an English printing, then, you know, it probably won't be worth much, but worth the risk. We have a random EV card. This is, I think, another card. Yeah, card ass right there. Um, seems like this is more about the show. Can't say this is even on my list of things to complete whatever set this is from, but hey, I had an EV on it. Shout out to Rich Omega. All right, some more card ass. Uh, the Raichu. Uh, I do like this set though. Like I'm, I, I do want to complete the binder set, recomplete the binder set, just because of how unique the art is. Uh, I mentioned this in my Cardass video, but I perceive it to be this was like the original vision of the Pokemon, and then like it shaped, they changed slightly to what they are now. Here we have the Monster Collection Spiro, and we'll go through it pretty quickly. So we have a random Rhyperior level X. Oh, actually, card looks pretty good. Probably isn't. Uh, all right, we guess we bought this from someone named Pocket. Some more, some random stamps. <laughs> Sometimes uh, these whatnot uh, sellers will just include something random like that. Or maybe that came from a J Japanese seller uh, from the Pikachu V Max promos. I'm actually not sure. Uh, some more of these card ass cards. And yeah, the, it's just fun to do. Again, you pick them up for like dollars, uh, even when they're super beat up. But so it's like, all right, here's the whole line. And these are the greenbacks. So I don't know too much about this set. Uh, again, I just know that they're green or blue backs. Sometimes they don't have the number, which is like considered an error. But as far as like these backgrounds, I'm not too concerned. And you know, all right, let's just fill out the Pokédex first, create a nice binder collection. Um, and we probably won't ever get to grading. So, but yeah, again, you know, I feel like my takeaways here is, oh wait, I think I just have a couple more. Oh no, I did those. Um, Again, right now, depending on what your goals are, whether just completing these, you know, miscellaneous sets, building out CGC, uh, just because the prices are really good, you know, nothing's too expensive. Um, it's been a lot of fun. I feel like I'm having more fun buying these low cost items. And my mentality is like, uh, 
you know, I had this Mintel back in 2018. It worked out almost everything is 3X to 10X the price. But in my mentality then, in my mentality now, it's like, maybe something, the price will go up. Maybe not, who cares? Because I just enjoy having these in this collection. So I feel like I've been having a very collector mind focus and it's been a lot more fun than <laughs> I would say the fun I had the past year. So uh, that's what I've been up to collection wise. Um, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, let me know what your thoughts are. If you have any thoughts in the comment down below, I'm Moana Turtle. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.